Hello students, let us start with exercise 7.2 of chapter 7 triangles. Uh, the first question, we have been given some data but there is no diagram. So we will read out the data and then we will draw the diagram and then we will see what is to be proved. So I have ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB is equal to AC. So first I am going to draw my isosceles triangle ABC with AB is equal to AC. So AB and AC marked with single dashes. And also bisectors of B and C intersect at O. So I have bisectors of B and C intersect at O. This is my point O. And A is joined to O. So I need to prove that OB is equal to OC. I need to prove that this side and this side are equal. That is OB and OC. Also I need to prove that AO bisects angle A. So I need to prove that angle BAO is equal to angle CAO. So let us see how we are going to first prove OB is equal to OC. Now if you notice over here I have two triangles. Uh, first of all let us just take a look at the entire diagram. I have AB is equal to AC therefore ABC is going to be equal to ACB. Why? Because they angles opposite to equal parts of the uh, uh, equal sides of the isosceles triangle correct therefore half of abc is going to be equal to half of acb let's write this down so that we understand better angle abc is equal to angle acb why opposite uh, angles uh, angles opposite to equal sides of an isosceles triangle Therefore, half of angle ABC is equal to half of angle ACB. So now I need to prove that BO is equal to CO. If I prove that these angles that is OBC and OCB are equal, my triangle BOC will become isosceles, isn't it? Why? Because there would, there would be sides opposite to equal angles of a triangle, correct? So that is why I am going to take uh, the half of ABC as OBC and OCB. Therefore, I have what? OB is equal to OC. Correct? Now, let's go ahead and write the proof for this. So, I'll say proof. In triangle ABC, angle ABC sorry AB is equal to AC which is given therefore angle ABC is equal to angle ACB angles opposite equal sides of isosceles triangle Correct. Therefore, half of ABC is equal to half of ACB. Therefore, I have OBC, that is angle OBC is equal to angle OCB. Therefore, I have OB is equal to OC. sides opposite equal angles of a triangle. So the first part is proved over here. Now we need to prove that AO bisects angle A. So we have already proved that these two sides are equal. Correct. Therefore, if I take triangles ABO and ACO, what do I have? I have this side equal half of ABC is equal to half of ACO. Correct. Half of ABC is ABO and half of ACO, ACB is ACO. Also, we have these two sides equal. I'll mark this statement as 1. 
therefore the two triangles are congruent by side angle side test of congruence therefore i can easily say that angle bao is equal to angle cao therefore ao becomes the bisector of angle bac therefore aoa bisects angle a so let us write the proof we will continue to this side of the board we'll erase that section uh, later once we move on to question 2 so let's start for the second section in triangle abo and triangle aco ab is equal to ac is given angle abo half angle abc is equal to half angle acb which implies what angle abo is equal to angle aco and also i have ob is equal to oc which is given correct therefore triangle abo is congruent to triangle aco by side angle side test therefore angle bao is equal to angle cao why corresponding parts of congruent triangles so once this is done therefore we can say that therefore oa ao bisects angle hence proof so this was my second part please take a look so i'm erasing this part so that we can solve this question now ad is perpendicular bisector of bc so ad is going to be perpendicular to bc also it is the perpendicular bisector therefore bd is going to be equal to bc what we need to prove is that abc is isosceles with triangle uh, with angle ab is equal to ac so here i'm going to simply take the two triangles abd and acd and prove them congruent and then prove ab is equal to uh, ac through corresponding parts of congruent triangles so in triangle abd and acd what do we have we have this side equal why because d becomes the midpoint of bc since it's a uh, ad is a perpendicular bisector of bc each of these angle is 90 degrees and also this side is common therefore the two triangles are congruent by sas test of congruence therefore ab is equal to ac through cpct so let's write the proof i'll say bd is equal to cd why ad is ad bisects bc and i'll mark this as 1 okay and also angle adb is equal to angle adc why each is or i'll say because ad is perpendicular to bc so we have to use a perpendicular bisector in two ways as a perpendicular as well as as a bisector and i'll mark this as 2 right now in triangle abd and triangle acb what do i have bd is equal to cd from 1 correct and adb 
is equal to angle ADC from 2 and also AD is equal to AD common side. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by SAS test. Therefore, AB is equal to AC through corresponding parts of congruent triangles or CPCT. Therefore, now these two are sides of my triangle ABC. Therefore, triangle ABC becomes isosceles. Triangle ABC is isosceles. Hence proved. Let's move on to question number 3. I have ABC is isosceles with AB is equal to AC. So I have AB is equal to AC. BE is perpendicular to AC. BE is perpendicular to AC and CF is perpendicular to AB. So BE can, can be the called the altitude of AE and CF can also be called the altitude for AF. We need to prove that BE is equal to CF. So which two triangles are we going to take into consideration to prove that BE is equal to CF? One is this triangle and one is this triangle or we can take these two triangles. Like we did in uh, the solved example, we, were, we had taken the upper two tri uh, triangles. Why? Because if I take the lower two triangles, then I do not really have many things to prove in common. Correct? So I will take triangles ABE and ACF. So let's see proof in triangle ABE and triangle ACF. Now my triangles APE and ACF. I have A as the common angle. This is 90 degrees and this is also 90 degrees and I have been given that AB is equal to AC, correct? Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by AAS test of congruence, correct? So, once the two triangles have been proved congruent, I can say that BE is equal to CF. Simple, let's write the proof. In triangle ABE and ACF, angle BAC is equal to angle CAF common angle angle BEA is equal to angle CFA because each is equal to 90 degrees also AB is equal to AC which is given Therefore, I have what? Triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACF by AAS test of congruence. By AAS test. Obviously, then we can say that BE is equal to CF through corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Hence, we have proved what was required. This section was only for explanation purpose. The rest is your proof. Let's take a look at the remaining uh, questions of exercise 7.2 in the forthcoming lectures. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.